Chapter 1 Laura and Max are twins. They live in London with their mum and dad. They always have interesting adventures on holiday. They visit different cities and countries. This summer they are going to stay in a small cottage in the country. The cottage is in a village called Stone Crows near Salisbury. Max and Laura aren't very happy. Boring, says Max. He looks at the map. The cottage is in the middle of a field. What can we do in the middle of our field? Why are we going there? asks Laura. Their dad is very tired. He says he wants to relax and to sleep a lot. Their mum loves the country. She wants to walk and paint. It is a very beautiful part of England, she says, full of culture, tradition, mystery. Mystery? Say Max and Laura together. Mystery. Okay, let's go. Chapter 2 The next day Uncle Stephen and Auntie Barbara arrive. They have lots of suitcases. This year the two families are going on holiday together. Mum drives her car. Dad sleeps. Dad always sleeps. Uncle Stephen and Auntie Barbara follow in their slow, old car. Two hours later they arrive at Stone Crows and find their cottage in the middle of a field. There are green hills, beautiful cottages, flowers, sheep and cows everywhere. It's lovely. Say Max and Laura. It's perfect. Say Mum and Auntie Barbara. Dad says nothing. He is sleeping in the car. What do you think, Stephen? Do you like it? Uncle Stephen doesn't answer. He is looking into the distance. His eyes are very black and strange. What's the matter, Stephen? asks Auntie Barbara. Don't you like the cottage? Yes. It's wonderful, he says. Come on, everyone. Let's take these suitcases inside. Wake up, Andrew. Dad wakes up. What? Oh, where are we? We're here at Stone Crows. Come and help. We must take the suitcases into the cottage. They take the suitcases and go inside, but Uncle Stephen waits. He wants to talk to his wife. Barbara, I must tell you something, he says. His voice is very serious, this place. Yes, darling. This place is in my book. Do you remember? The book I am studying, about mysteries. But Stephen, that book is very old. It's full of strange codes and secret messages. Exactly. Don't you understand? This is the place where... Come on, Barbara. Come on, Stephen, shouts Mum from the cottage. We are coming, Uncle Stephen and Auntie Barbara answer. But when they walk to the cottage, their faces are white. They look very worried. Chapter 3 The cottage is big. There are four bedrooms and two bathrooms upstairs. Downstairs there is a big kitchen, a living room and a study. Uncle Stephen wants to use the study. He must finish some work during the holiday. Uncle Stephen is a historian. What does Uncle Stephen do exactly? Laura asks. Her mother replies, he studies history. Max is confused. But I study history too, at school, but it's not my job. Yes, but Uncle Stephen writes books about history. He thinks about history. He tries to understand the things that no one understands. For example, 
asks Laura. Well, mum replies, for example, the mystery of Stonehenge. So, what about Stonehenge? What is its mystery? No one really knows. Ask Uncle Stephen. Tomorrow we can go to see it. Suddenly there is a knock at the door. Mum opens it and an old man comes in. He has white hair and an angry face. My name's Carter, he says in an angry voice. I look after this cottage. Is everything okay? There is wood for the fire in the garden. There are sheets and pillows upstairs. If you have a problem, tell me. Have you got any problems? Now mum remembers. Yes, Mr. Carter is the caretaker. He looks after the cottage when no one is staying in it. Thank you, Mr. Carter. It's very kind of you, but we have no problems. Mr. Carter wants a problem to solve so he is not very happy. He goes to the door. Then he stops suddenly, turns around and looks at them. Mrs. Black is coming, he says, Mrs. Black is coming soon. Be careful. He opens the door and goes out. What? asks mum. Who is Mrs. Black? asks Max. And why? Be careful. Is she dangerous? asks Auntie Barbara. Probably a witch from Stonehenge, says Laura. Everyone laughs. Don't talk about things you don't understand, says Uncle Stephen. There is another knock at the door. They all stop. There is silence in the room. Max opens the door. No one speaks. Hello everyone, says a happy voice. A woman comes into the cottage. She is quite old, fat, but she is pretty. She has blue eyes, silver earrings and a big pink face. Hello. My name's Mrs. Black. Mrs. Black is a housekeeper. She helps with the cooking and cleaning. When a family comes for a holiday in the cottage, she helps them. She lives in a different cottage in the village with her son. Mrs. Black is very nice and they start to relax. Later they eat a big dinner and then say goodbye to their new friend, the housekeeper. They are very tired and soon everyone is sleeping. Everyone but Uncle Stephen. He can't sleep because he is thinking about the book he is studying. Chapter 4 On the morning Laura and Max decide to explore the small village of Stone Crows. Bye. Have a nice time. Come home for lunch at 1 o'clock, says their mother. In the square there is a post office, a baker's, a greengrocer's, a newsagent's and some other small shops. Let's buy something to drink in this newsagent's, says Max. It's very hot. A woman is working in the shop. They say, good morning, and smile at the woman but she does not smile at them. She looks at the twins with cold eyes. You two are one from Stone Crows. What do you want? The woman is not very friendly. Uh, two cans of coke please, says Max, 1.60 pounds. She gives them two cans of coke and they give her the money. The woman's cold eyes do not change. Tourists don't usually come to Stone Crows, she says. Her voice is cold too. It's not a good idea, remember that, yes. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye, says Laura. They run out of the shop very quickly. In the square the sun is shining. Everything is normal again. Wow, there are some strange people in this, says Max. Village, 
They walk along another street and suddenly a man appears. He is not very old. He is wearing a dark suit and a tie with a strange design on it.